Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're stumbling onto my channel for the first time, my name is Diola Adebi and I'm the editor of Omogimura. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a tutorial of this look right here. It's a very gothic, very dark, very Halloween-y kind of look. And with Halloween around the corner, I thought, okay, this will be great if any Nigerian wants to like, you know, go as a sexy witch or go as like something really, you know, Halloween-y. I thought this look would be a great look to show off. So um, this video, is, this look is mostly about the eyes and the lips, because the face is just regular, you know, contour highlighting that kind of shit. But like this look is basically about how to get that smoky gold look and how to get the black to red ombre lips. So if you are very interested in finding out how I got this look right here, this very gothic, this very like. I know a lot of people can't wear this every day, but I can because I'm just that kind of person. This is the kind of look I like to wear. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then stay tuned and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So you guys know the draw. I first start off with color correcting and I'm using my LA Girl color corrector in orange. And I'm going to be color correcting under my eyes and around my mouth. And then after color correct, I'm going to apply my foundation with my beauty blender. And this is the MAC waterproof, um, Pro Longwear waterproof foundation and NW45. Then I'm going to highlight slash conceal under my eyes using the LA Girl Concealer and cover that slash bake that with the pressed, I, why can't I remember the name of this powder? That's so weird. It's I use this powder like all the time, but yeah, it's going to be in the description below. Then I'm um, onto my eyes. I'm first going to prime them and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer. This is the anti-aging one. And I move on to my brows. I'm going to comb them out first with a spoolie to get them nice and laid. Then I'm going to first draw out the shape with my brown pencil. And I'm going to use the black pencil kind of like deepen the color. So it's not brown. It's like a nice brownish black. It's not too intense. Then I'm going to use an angled eyeliner brush and concealer to shape my brows. Blend it through to make sure it's nice and neat. And then go back and um, blend again. Blending is very important with this kind of look. So blend and make sure everything looks really nice. And those are my brows. So we're first going to start off with the uh, eyeshadow. And first we're going to go with fudge. And we're going to be going with um, a crease brush. And this color is only going to be in my crease. Then we're going in with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow in Secret Service. And that's also going to be on my crease. That, this is just to darken the crease. We're going to start building up the smoke. Then we're going in with Noir, which is the deepest, like most pigmented black I've ever used. I apply a little bit of it and then I blend. A little blend because if I apply all at once, it's like really, it's like a really intense black. As you can see, I'm trying to blend it into my crease a bit and a little at a time. I don't want it to overwhelm the entire look. So I have to do it like a bit at a time. Then we're going in with the original Naked palette and the color I'm using today is Half Baked. It's a bright, bright gold color and I'm going to be using this as my color on my lid. I didn't want to make a smoky eye that was really unwearable. I want everybody to, like everybody can wear this kind of smoky eye. And I'm just going to blend that through and make sure the crease and the eye color are all blended nicely together. Next, I'm going to go in with Kudi Cosmetics um, Kajal. I got this recently and it's so creamy. God! I lined my waterline with that and then I'm going to use the color Fudge to smoke it out and blend out. Next, I'm going in with some mascara and this is the brush of the Zaron Mascara dipped into the Guerlain tube. So I'm using the Guerlain formula and the Zaron brush and it is amazing, honestly. I'm going to be applying that to my upper and lower lashes because this combination is the best mascara combination I've ever used. And those are my eyes. Right now we're just going to dust off the remaining powder from the baking process that we did earlier. We're going to contour and I'm, as usual I'm using my contour stick from Black Up. I'm also going to contour around my forehead. And blend that through with a stippling brush. I'm gonna put some powder on the side so that the 
the contour pops way better it pops more it looks like really prominent and then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer which I use as a highlight this is Tarte Cosmetics blonder bronzer Now I'm just gonna brush off the remaining powder and as you can see that contour is like popping. You can see it from like a mile away. Then I'm gonna just finish up the look with some finishing powder or translucent powder, sorry, this from Sleek. Now on to the ombre lip. First we're gonna go in with Tarde, that's the black. Now we're going to go in with NSFW, NSFW. Now with the ombre lip, what I'm doing is I'm gonna line my entire lips with black first. And because it's a liquid lipstick, you have to be like really gentle and really like slow and like you know you have to take your time with it Now I'm going in with the red and my advice for you is to start where the black is so that you can blend it together and it looks like an ombre. As you can see it looks black to red. The brightest part should be right in the middle of the lip so you just apply the red in the middle and you blend, you know, you blend through. Now it's onto my hair and I'm going to be using the Design Essentials um, Moisturizing Argan Cream. When I apply this, this allows and I pull my hair, kind of allows my curls to pop and you know it re-moisturizes my, my hair because sometimes my hair can get so dry. And that is it for this week's look. I hope you guys really really enjoy this goth look. I really really like this look. This is the kind of look that I love to do and I love to like play around with and stuff. Um, please do not forget to subscribe and share this video with all your friends and family. Um, looking for, I look forward to making more videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.